Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Flood and Mon 14 here. <laughs> and yeah, we're just back here. Uh, yeah, how you guys doing today? I am doing quite, quite well. Uh, yeah, yeah, funny, I was just actually just, uh, you know, kind of messing around here on YouTube and I came across um, one of the first, you know, Dual Monsters episodes. <laughs> this is clearly a uh, Mako, I think it is. Tsunami, or, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's him, man. Just kind of hopping into the ocean there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I love it. I don't know who's putting all these, uh, you know, episodes and Japanese subs up, but whoever it is, thank you. Like, seriously. I love this stuff. A lot of people are complaining, oh, no, it isn't in English. Hey, man. I mean, I hate it. The voices suck, or this or that. Man, look. You know, I guess I've really matured because I don't complain too much anymore. You know, I, I'm just, hey, it's free. I mean, right? <laughs> it's Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's YouTube, and it's free. I I got no problems with this. <laughs> no complaints. Ah, nice, nice. That's so cool, man. Maybe even four kids is doing this. Nah, <laughs> they wouldn't do something like that. Oh, I love this intro. Oh, what? Oh, and something's going on with, like, my audio, I think. Oh, yeah, something's going on with my, uh, my video here. Or my computer, so. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Apparently I hit some kind of button combination to, uh, make it, uh, yeah, I don't know, make it, a uh, sort of cycle through. Or <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's the finish right there, by the way. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, sorry, I'll play the intro again from the start. Well, I'll try to. Sorry about that, guys. Like, I don't know what just happened. I think my computer's sort of, uh, it's on the fritz, man. It's, it's on its, if I had to give you the age, you know, of my computer in human years, it's about, you know, 84. It's about that time, you know. About time, oops. <laughs> about time to retire. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, about time to retire, you. You've saved, served me faithfully, but... It's just about that time, man. Like, look at this. The house is all messed up. Oh, I love it, though. Hey. <laughs> I've learned to deal with the headaches, that's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, man. One of these days, I'm going to say this full intro in Japanese, just because it's so... But anyway, I'm doing enough talking, like a lot of talking, so let me just be quiet and let the intro speak for itself, shall we? Yeah, that's that, that's good, Josh. That's good stuff. That's that's water from the something glazed hills of Alaska. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, still, be still, Josh. Here we go. それは遥か <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Love it. Alright, but yeah, we're just going to be listening to that in the background, slash watching it, you know. It's a nice day outside today, by the way. Very nice day. Uh, the temperature, I live here in um, Arkansas. Uh, have I ever said that in a video? I don't think I have. I think I've said it. Oh, anyway, uh, it's too late now. Um, <laughs> the truth is out. The Bolters is open. But no, seriously. And we see a white uh, SUV pass by. But no, um, I live here in Ar Arkansas. Arkansas, y'all, yeehaw. No, I live in Arkansas. Yes, that's that's how you say it. Just kidding. But um, yeah, and it's a nice day. It's uh, We just had rain on Friday. 
Today is October the 7th, 2000 and, uh, excuse me, 2016, and it is a gorgeous, uh, I'm, after this video, I'm definitely going to take five, and, uh, I'm going to call a couple of my friends or neighbors and knock out a few doors, man, and I am going to go play football outside for sure, because it is just too amazing out here. So. Yes, it is, Pegasus. The weather is psycho this. Thank you, sir. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, today for you guys, I'm just going to continue the bonus parts of Pokemon Emerald. And we, yeah, we're just going to sit here and watch traffic and listen to Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it's, it's that simple, this channel. Yeah, so let's turn the, uh, oh, let's see, okay, let's turn the TV slash monitor. There we go. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, and we're getting a little glare. Let's see. I think that's passable on the TV. That's passable. Let's just see if there's glare on the Game Boy. I don't know. Ah. Okay. Ooh, I see. If I lean this way, and if I hold my hand steady here in front of the window, it's going to block out the glare. That's... Well, there we go. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Let's just do that. Uh, is the volume up? Oh, let me see. Hang on. Wow, it is. I think the volume. Well, nah, it's probably just the competing volume. But it sounds like the Game Boy is actually quieter today. I don't know what it is. It's probably the same level. I don't know. Uh, this is life right here. Me watching Yu Gi Oh! secretly and, you know, semi playing. Uh, <laughs> Semi playing Game Boy here. Anyway, let us finish the intro. And I sense that a storm is approaching. Hulk! Hey yo! Hey, how's it going? Hey, Mom! This is Pokemon Go Flood Yourself Emerald. Let's play by me, Flooding Mon. Team. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yes, 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 we know about the battery. <laughs> Tristan thinks he's so cool. Counterattack in your face. Oh, I love it. No uncensored fight scenes here. Yeah, take that, four kids. Uh, let's see. Uh, last time, yes, I believe. By the way, this is. I know I said I would do the bonus episode all on one day but um yeah I lied I tend to do that um for all of those <laughs> I mean hey that's that's just that's just guys honest truth right there man that's the cat's knees I mean that's that's the butter's oxen um for all of those of you who have just lost faith in me and have stopped watching this video I forgive you I I do. I forgive you. It's it's okay, I, and I am sorry. I am sorry that you have lost lost trust in me. But 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 I'm not going to give up on you. I'm not. I am not going to let my mistakes, my intentional, by the way, mistakes, ruin our friendship forever. No, no. I'm going to get better with my trust issues, and I'm going to learn to love. And I, Flood, or Mega Me, or whoever you want to call me, I am going to win your love back. One duel at a time, one video at a time, one, one drink of water at a time, one flood of truth and justice at a time. <laughs> wow, and that was an epic intro, Josh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's see. How many uh, zigzagoods do we have right now? We have five. Okay, I'm going to make it a goal in this video to catch five more. That'll give us ten, and then we'll only need the last four. So, that sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, I'm going to make sure... You know what? Let's sell some stuff, actually, because, you know, our zigzagoods have been picking some stuff up. And some of the stuff I just don't use, like repels. Look, look, dude. We have how many repels? Wow, ten? 
you know, like I said, normally I don't use these guys, but for the sake of the LP in time, I will keep four, but the other four, yeah, I mean, I, the other six, I don't, X accuracy, okay, I'll keep that. Now, X attacks, four of these, no, I'm pretty sure our Zigzagoons picked up some, oh, this nugget that Scope picked up, yeah, I'll sell that, yeah, heck yeah, alright, alright. And see, now we can buy some of the stuff we need here, like, let's just buy 10 Pokeballs and get a, another free Premier Ball, am I right? There we go, yeah, and we're throwing a Premier, okay. And let's buy 10 more Pokeballs, because right now we have about 30. I'm just buying these, you know, just in case, you know. So yeah, we should be good on, um, you know, the... I'm not, I really shouldn't have to worry about running out of Pokeballs if we ever run into a rare Pokemon uh, here soon, so. Anyway, um, oh, oh, sorry, my neck is kind of strained in that position, so I'm going to quickly switch angles here. Uh, anyway, uh, off we go. Alright. Will this be a Zigzagoon? Our first Pokemon? Man, I Oh, yes! Wow, and the luck has changed. Thank God. Alright, alright. Well, we will just tackle this one. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna take off my shoes here. Uh, yeah, I just got in from, uh doing stuff outdoors. Um, I don't want to kill this one on accident, so I'm just going to lob a ball at it right now. Oh, and I had to think of a water-based name. Uh, oh, I've got one. Riviera. Yeah, because we haven't named one after a river, have we? Alright, cool. We got number six. Yes. We're almost halfway there. Well, okay, that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> don't want to ruin a good song. Oh, this is actually a female zigzag. Ooh, what's a good name for a female, like a famous female fish? Or no, no, a famous female that has something to do with water. Let me think. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I'm just going to name it after one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. And this is, yeah, this is a very simple name, but um, uh, her name is Maiden of the Aqua. So I'm just going to nickname her uh, Maiden. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put AQ Maiden. That's going to be her nickname. AQ is short for Aqua. And then Maiden. <laughs> what she does, her effect in Yu Gi Oh! is that she treats. And I'm, yeah, yes, yes, I am talking about Yu Gi Oh! on a Pokemon video. Yes, I know. Yes, I know you folks don't care, but I care. Well, I'm sure somebody. I'm sure at least one viewer out there even in the future is or will be like me and you know say like Yu-Gi-Oh versus Pokemon oh you have to choose one that you like you know you only, you can only choose one like it's so funny man when people you know make that um question to me they're like hey Joshua which is better Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh I'm just like dude Digimon all of the above haha -ha. <laughs> and they're just like no 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 you have to choose one you have to I'm just like I can't bro I, I love, like, it's just like, when someone asks you, you know, who who do you like more, you know, Becky or Sally, I'm just like, dude, they're both, they both have very, you know, um, uh, excuse me, they both have very attractive qualities, I just can't choose, I can't, I can't choose between Becky and Sally. And then I'm just like, I turn the question on them after I'm honest like that. I'm just like, I'm just like, if it was up to me, I couldn't choose. And then I'm just like, well, why are you asking? Yeah, you know, change the question on them, you know, that, like, why are you asking? And then you know, they'll be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, well, why don't you just choose for yourself? Why are you asking me, you know, since you're the one who likes them, you know, why don't you, you know. <laughs> deal with your situation like a man or a woman you know so yeah 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 why are you really asking that question Yugi boy mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> all right anyway now that we have six we'll take out the sixth one and should I take out flood well this is the bonus part so I don't know, 14, I mean, he's just at level 14. I just really don't want to take him out. 
Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll take out EEOP because um, it's already like level. What level is EEOP? Yeah, yeah, it's like level 9, and that's really a signature level because Zigzagoon actually becomes a somewhat useful Pokemon and uh, <laughs> learns Headbutt, which is actually a really good move, believe it or not. At level 9, for a normal Pokemon to know Headbutt, and yes, even though it's a normal type, yes, it's true, it does get stabbed, so... Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to rename this box... Oh yeah, let me show you guys, you know, well, I mean, this is a bonus episode, so who cares, right? Who cares what, how long it takes, but, yeah, you see, you can actually, um, oh, that's interesting. Polka dot, uh, machine, huh, <laughs> that, that looks cool. Uh, but yeah, this is how you change, um, boxes in, um, Pokemon Emerald here. Uh, you see, like, this is City, this is the one it was on, which is the one, I think I like City for normal. But yeah, they have all kinds here. Uh, Savannah, uh, hmm. They have. Oh, like Craig. Craig is cool. Yeah. It's nice and, like, hilly. But, uh, I really like Volcano and, uh, Snow. Those are probably my two favorite. Um, look right there. There we go. Here's, um, some of the, um, flood wallpapers. Beach. Yeah, let's show all these flood wallpapers. Uh, Seafloor. Yeah, and it's just amazing, really, in Pokemon, just how many, this is River, oh, that looks pretty cool, actually, I think I'll leave it on that one, but it's amazing how many water types there are in Pokemon, there are just so many, dude, in that sky, so there you go, yeah, that's pretty cool, man, pretty cool, uh, I think I like River the most here, yeah, it looks pretty cool, I'm gonna name this box, um, I'm probably just gonna, uh, yeah, let's just name it, Fourteen with two R's or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourteen, but yeah. Four. Let's see. Oh wait, no. Fourteen will only fit as is, huh? Well, we can't have that. We can't have it just be a boring, you know, box like that. So I'm gonna write fourteen. Okay, then I'm going to write 14 backwards, 1, 4. Then, that's 1441, okay, so that's a whole new number. Then I'm going to take the square root of that and write it down. So I'm going to write 14. <laughs> and then I'm going to write 40. No, and for the last numbers, I'm going to write down my second favorite number. That's right, guys. I have two favorite numbers. And my second one is actually 19. So, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, why is it 19? Actually, this is a true story. And I know some of you don't care, but that's okay. I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, but Stephen King, yeah, the great, awesome author Stephen King, he wrote this series of books um, a while ago. And I read them, I read these books, you know, like 13, 14 years ago, but I will never. Uh, and we're going to go back outside and hunt. I will never, let me calm down, I will never forget these books, the series of books was called The Dark Tower, um, and it was about this guy, uh, sort of this Wild West gunman, uh, named Roland, Roland, um, long story short, he goes on several adventures in weird, strange ways, um, that's really about the easiest way I could describe it. Um, but he has to s basically solve puzzles in order to advance, um, you know, from his current situation. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to switch Aquamade up to the front here. I was looking at something. But, um, yeah, he basically has to sort of solve puzzles. Well, not only solve puzzles, he has to, you know, survive, right, um, in different, uh, sort of situations. And, uh... Yeah, um, there is one theme that runs through the book, though, um, and that is, um, the number, the significance of the number 19, um, and it's a great series of books, The Dark Tower, I think there are seven books, um, and the final, 
they're all named, you know, sort of different, uh, you know, um, uh, titles, but, um, um, I sort of forgot what I was about, oh, no, 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 that's what I was gonna say, but yes, I highly recommend, um, really, if you, oh, yes, another thing is good, all right, this is going well, this is going really well, we ran into two, you know, quite early here, so that is good, um, well, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll catch these five guys, if, if this keeps the pace, you know, and we don't, you know, accidentally, you know, KO one or something, I think we'll get five by the end of this video, so that's good, that's good, that's what I wanted to do, um, but yeah, as I was, I, I mean, I think you guys know where I was going with the, you know what, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball here to be safe, um, but, um, yeah, I highly think that, um, um, Thanks, nice, McCarter. That if you like to read books, especially adventure slash well, action, yeah, it's sort of it. Really, that series of books has everything. And uh, Kaiba had just had his blue eyes still in there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna name this one. Ooh, another female. Interesting. Oh, hey, look, Mokuba's been kidnapped for the uh, twenty millionth time. But uh, <laughs> anyway, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. That's twenty millionth and fourteen. Yeah. 20 million and 14 times. Yes, yes. 14. But anyway. It's me, Kaiba. And this time, Yugi, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh. What am I gonna nickname this one? Oh, I've got it. Um, this is after a famous. This nickname is after a famous female mermaid, and her name is, well, I hope everyone has seen this movie, Ariel. I'm not sure if that's how you spell that, but actually for the next one we'll name it Ariel with an A, because I'm not sure how exactly you spell that. Anyway, that's two. But yeah, man, great series of books. Um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I got that part right. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be a fun intro one day. Me having that intro on there. Riata. Yummy no game. Yeah, man. But, uh. Yeah, anyway. Uh, that's sort of a question I had for you guys. Um. Do you like to read books? I suppose that'll be the comment question for this video. Yes, it's a very, you know, broad and a uh, comment question. But if so, you know, what type of books do you... Nice, crit, nice. Do you like... I mean, do you like, you know, sort of uh, educational books? Which, there's nothing wrong with that. Or do you like, you know, action or... You know, just... Uh, or do you, do you prefer manga? Because I know... I know that manga particularly are very popular, or, yeah, yeah, they still are, really. It's funny, I was just in college the other day, at the college, at the local, you know, sort of community college, and I saw some kids, like, reading manga, like, like, legit, dude, like, you know, just, <laughs> this guy just pulled out a manga, you know, at the lunch table or whatever, and was reading, and I was just like, huh, like, that's awesome, bro, he was like, yep, yeah, yeah. he was reading uh, a manga of, believe it or not, Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Then I challenged him to a duel. True story. Anyway. Wow, crit. Ouch. Alright, Aquamaiden. Let's see if you can uh, kill this Poochiana. Yeah, we fight all wild battles, so. But uh, yeah, it's good, though, because. Uh, so you're doing about three damage each time, Pooch? Or. Uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, perfect. One HP. Yes. We totally pulled a Wing Dragon of Raw on that battle. Alright, level 5. Nice, alright. Well, anyway, moving on. Uh, ooh, looks like we've picked up some items, so... Oh, and it looks like just one of these guys has an item. Let's see what it is here. Um, let's see. What do you get? Antidote, okay, cool. Thank you, Poseidon. Poseidra! Bum, 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 it's a poochie and a for the four thousand time, yeah, 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 yeah
Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm bored. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I'm actually not bored at all. The, that's the funny thing is I really love playing Pokemon. Despite any time, by the way, and I think I've said this in the LP, any time I criticize or, you know, sort of make fun of this game, I'm really just, um, you know, um, doing a psychological technique known as hating. That's right, I said it. I'm just hating. And by hating, I mean I'm pretending to hate something when I, then I know the truth. And the truth is, I love it. So, Yep. Anyway, we're going to keep Tail Weapon here because I'm pretty sure the C Dot knows Bide. Um, oh man, <laughs> this is going to be a long battle. Okay, you know what? Who can last first? Me doing Tail Whip 30 times or you doing Harden 30 times? Let's find out. No, but I'm basically just using Tail Whip. There's Bide, okay. Because see, while it's using Bide, I'll weaken its defenses. So, there we go. <sighs> Excuse me. Still storing energy. It should still store energy one more time, right? Yeah, let's see. Storing energy. Oh, no, it unleashed. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so now I'll tackle it. There we go. Perfect. All right. We got this. We got this now. Uh, AQ Maiden. Aqua Maiden. Aqua Actrix. Act actress. Did I really say actress? Uh, me and my subversive uh, lettering or wording or... I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to shut up and kill this Wormpole without saying anything. Kaiba is such a boss, man. Kaiba no setondeki. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, um, by the way, I've noticed, guys, um, some of your comments, um, about, well, Oh, nice, about how, uh, you know, to improve the video and, and, and some of the glare issues, and I appreciate that. Um, in fact, one of you suggested that, especially, and I, and I, I don't think this was a comment, like, on the video, but it was one of my friends who had watched it, um, but they suggested, yeah, I try to, you know, actually work on the camera angle here in the bonus parts, which is what I'm doing right now, sorry for anyone who's getting motion sickness from me, uh, you know, sort of just, and yeah, you see how I'm barely tilting the Game Boy, but look how much, look how much glare is affected by that, I mean, look at that, so really, it's, it's inches, and it's like, almost, like, s smaller than, I mean, it's almost like subatomic, wow, subatomic, that's good stuff, yay, another one, okay, that's three guys, wow, great, great, we ran in a, we ran into another Zigzagoon, Hopefully we'll get 14 eventually. <laughs> this is a bonus episode after all. All right, and let's catch this one. Wow, that makes three. Uh, what are we going to name this one? Oh wow, another female. That's great though. Hey, I don't care if they're female or male as long as we catch 14 of them. All right, and another female sort of aqua related name. Uh, is there a famous queen who ruled over water? Ah, uh, actually there is, there is. Uh, let me think of her name. Oh, who's the legendary ruler of Atlantis? Okay, I know his name. But what's his queen's name? Oh, man, it's right on the tip of my tongue. What is his queen's name? Um, what is her name? Uh, man, I almost got Poseidon's wife, dude, basically. It, the name is so similar, it's not even funny. Um, you know what? I want to say this is the right name, but don't quote me. The name I'm thinking of is Mithria. If anybody knows who Myth and I, and I don't even half know how to spell it, 
I just know the first half of this is right. M I T H Ria, um, and I'm gonna spell it Ria R R H E A. But um, if anyone knows if this is right, Mithria, is that the wife of Poseidon? Um, and was she featured in a story of Poseidon versus Zeus? Um, yes. If you know, please let me know. Um, yeah, that's all on that. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's the second comment question for this video, sir. So. But yeah, I, I would highly appreciate it because just for my, you know, sort of historical pride and or knowledge. So anyway, Poseidon's gonna tackle this wormhole, and I'm gonna talk about this duel. So in this duel, Kaiba is basically saying blah 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 blah. No. <laughs> That was good. That was good, Josh. Yes, yes. Insult what you love. No, no, but, um, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, hating. You know, yeah, anytime in any of my videos that I'm just like, you know, ragging on this or ragging, hating, I mean, it's basically me, um, it's, it's, it's my way of saying how much I love something through the art of you know verbal like I said it's sort of psychology and sort of like verbal um you know sarcasm yeah yeah sarcasm it's it's basically an intense form of sarcasm that's all hating is I mean a lot of people saying like we should quit hating and you know and you know yeah I'm President Obama and I used to smoke reefer and uh when the teleprompter goes out I uh I tell you that if you like your doctor you can keep them and uh if you like your health plan, you can keep your health plan. But, uh, 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 I'm not a fan of all that. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. <laughs> oh man, there's so many gaff moments for Obama. It's not even funny. P.S. I'm not going to say whether I, or not I voted for Obama. I'm just going to let you, you know, sort of, and sort of guess, you know. But, um, hmm. yeah, elections, I mean, he's, he's a true politician. That's all I'm going to say. You know, he really disappointed, um, not only me, but several others, uh, because we thought, you know, he wouldn't be a politician, but somebody got to him, man, you know, somebody paid him off or something, man, because, you know, he's made some very questionable you know, choices and calculated choices as well. Some cal He's made some very calculated lies in his... Yes! All right, we ran into another one. I think this is four, right, guys? Yeah, this is four. Like, the fourth one. The fourth! Zigzagoon. Awesome. Wow, we really are going to catch 14 of these guys. It's, it's happening. It's... I love it. Okay, and this one's a male one. Okay, good. That makes it a little easier on me. Um... Yeah, I'm just actually going to name this one after a river, and this is actually a famous river in Egypt, um, and, and it actually kind of fits because it's, I've heard of a guy's name being this, or uh, even being this with the letters rearranged, uh, yeah, you guys know Neil, the popular name, N-E-I-L, well this is Niall, yeah, and I, I've heard of that name for a guy, pretty popular, um, popular, <laughs> as always. That's a uh, Death Note reference for you guys, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Um, I think also I'm going to end the episode off here. So in the next episode, guys, we will do... I think Yu-Gi-Oh! card openings. And yes, I'm sorry. I know we didn't catch five Zigzagoon like I wanted to. But we did catch four, so that just leaves us with five left to go. And that's that's good progress. Um, in fact, we're going to to end this video. I'm going to well first I'm going to heal at the Pokemon Center. You guys don't want to watch that. It's boring. But um, yeah, you know, I'm going to line up all the Zigzagoons we have uh, just to show you guys how close we are to the end of. And yes, I know it's sad. It's the end of the bonus episodes and the end of the 14 special. But uh, yeah. I'm kind of sad too, honestly, believe it or not. Like, you may think, oh, he's catching nine, nine Zigzagoons. That's, he's got to be in, intently bored. No, 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 that's the thing is I'm not bored at all. Like, I, 
I I love this game that much. And that you want to know why Pokemon and the series is such a good series of game? That's why, man, because like the replay value, I can't tell you how many times I've literally just resetted my game, you know, started over or traded my Pokemon to my friend, you know, Diego or or anyone else for that matter and just like you know, it's like, let's do it again. Let's do the adventure again. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I explained this either, but um, the function I just used there, move items. Yeah, this is actually a new function in Pokemon. Uh, sorry, in Pokemon Emerald. And what you can do is, you see how? Well, let me go to my party here. Yeah, yeah. You see how? Um, Flood and Mon fourteen here has a. It's a Chestoberry. Can't quite see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, or a Pecha, um, but you can literally pick it up, and then, like, it, you could exchange it, like I'm gonna do it here with Meryl, or you can, um, place it on, you know, the items that you're moving over, you can place it on a new Pokemon, so, so, yeah, we just put a Cherry Berry on Mudkip, and this really, really, really helps, because you gotta remember, guys, that this game, uh, Ruby Sapphire, uh, was the first game to do this and this came out after the gold and silver arrow and before that guys you may not know what I'm talking about especially if you're playing like Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire um, yeah because then and that you know by then the 3DS the items and the PC work so well but like guys you do not understand but back if you ever played yellow red blue green or gold, crystal, or silver. Man, the PC, the computer, and those games was just so messed up and, you know, backwards. And, like, I remember as a kid having to toss out items and just, oh, the PC itself. And, like, and the funny thing is, is if you made a mistake, like, you know, let's say you were rearranging your party or whatever, right? And you had like some really OP, you know, some really good items, and you just accidentally like put them on your Pokemon. And like like these Zigzagoon, I just deposited. Imagine this was like I don't know a level 53 Charizard, an awesome like Tyranitar with like black glasses, and this was like a I don't know like a a Lugia with a with a uh, Shell Bell or something. And like you know those are epic items, you know Shell Bell, black glasses. Well, not black glasses. But you know what I mean? And you wanted those items back. Well, back in Gold and Silver and Crystal, you would have to literally, like, I'll show you. Like, let's say you messed up. You would have to go here to withdraw, right? Take them back to your party, like this, you know, one at a time. Yeah, just like that. Then you would have to exit the VC. Then you would have to go to your Pokemon screen, like I'm doing right here. Then you would have to go to your Pokemon, like I'm doing, withdraw the item. And then, after all that... You would have to go back to your PC, you know, like I'm doing here. Hit deposit, because move didn't exist, you know. And then hit deposit, like I just did right there. Yeah, move Pokemon and move items did not exist in those games I listed earlier. So, yeah, this PC system, a lot of people don't give Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald enough credit. But that was one strong complaint that the makers of Pokemon really, and I mean really, really, they thoroughly fixed that PC, those PC issues, those computer issues in this game, in this game here. And I, for, I am forever grateful because <laughs> I remember playing those games as a kid, man, all of the ones I listed, and it was just a nightmare. The PC was an absolute nightmare, man. Oh. Well, anyway, uh... Yeah, these are all the... Wait, I think I'm missing one, aren't I? Am I missing a Zigzagoon? Surely not. I think so. Yeah, there it is. Wow! And you see the problem? You And in fact, I forgot about that too. This problem existed on Gold, Silver, Crystal as well. You saw how when I hit deposit, it didn't deposit it into the most recent box. It deposited it into the default box, right? Box number one. So see, that problem that you know sort of glitch still exists here in wow wow i can't believe i just did i really just learn something new about this game i think i did well anyway um yeah i didn't even know that see well that's one pc glitch that 
did not get fixed because you guys just saw I was in and out of this box, right? So why did it deposit to the default? But I don't know. I don't know. But um, long story short, the PC system is about I'm gonna say 99% better, and thank God because yeah. Anyway, um, those are the nine Zigzagoon we have so far on the bonus episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Go flood yourself by me, Floodmon14. And now we're going to save the game. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. Uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more because uh, here in a minute, I'm pretty sure I'm going to open up this box here of Duelist Packs. Yugi and Kaiba, the special edition box, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm sure I'm going to keep watching, like, you know. So, yeah. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start watching the next episode right now. So it can buffer for you guys. But, yeah, see you guys then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Man, I'm paranoid about saving. Okay, good. <laughs>